So now that we're all stuck down to the roof, I want to show you how to tilt these because tilting in the winter makes a whole lot of sense. You can increase your output 30, sometimes 40 percent by just tipping this panel up. So I'm going to be tipping this way as though the view you have is where the sun is in the south sky. So what we want to do is we want to, since this is going to be a hinge, we want to loosen these, you know, a turn. Okay. So that the panel will move freely on these hinges. And then we're going to completely remove the knob on this side, on both ends here. So now the panel will tilt up and down. This is really handy for more than just tilting in the winter. If you want to clean behind the panel, now it'll flip all the way over. You can clean, you can check the wiring, you can do a number of things. But now, I want to introduce you to our tilt bars. It's just super simple. There's no magic here. We just calculated the length of this bar so we can tip this panel up 45 degrees. It comes with its own knobs. It's two bars. One side's just a hole. There's nothing else in it. The other side has that same embedded nut that's on this uh, mount adapter. So if we're raising the mount up and that embedded nut is on this adapter, then we want the whole side of this to be there. And we also want this side to be on the inside of the foot, not out like this, okay? That would do you no good whatsoever. So we're gonna put this up in the air, take one of these uh, key knobs, Put it on that bar like that, just kind of loose for now. And then we're going to come down here and screw in down below. And then give that another tighten. Give this a tighten now that you don't want a hinge, you want it just staying there. Okay, we're going to come to this side, do the same thing. We're going to make sure that this is on the inside of the panel. So we're going to turn it like that. We're going to come attach this top piece. Again, we just want to get it started so it's not going to fall off. Then we're going to come down below, stick it in here, come through, bring it up tight, make this one tight, make this one tight. Now you're leaning 45 degrees into the sun, which for North America pretty much covers the bases. You know, and I have in the past made tilt bars that had a whole series of holes, so you could go to 55 degrees or down to 35. But you know what? You can be up to 20% off a of perpendicular to the panel and still get 94, 95% of the output. 45 degrees works fine. It works perfectly if you're at 45 degrees latitude, which is like the middle of Oregon. Okay, down in Arizona, you're at like 35 degrees latitude. And yeah, you might gain another portion of an amp if you move this on up a little degree or two, but this works just fine. What you have to realize is that even if your rig is broadside to the south, the sun comes up over here, so it's still at a hard angle to the panel. The only time you really get the benefit of this is, you know, two or three hours either side of solar noon, because then you're fairly square to this panel. So it's really important that those two to three hours either side of solar noon is shade free, because that's when you're getting the majority of your your power. So now I just want to take it back apart and lay it down on the roof. Okay, so the first thing we do is loosen this a turn, give us our hinge back. Okay, and then 
I kind of break the panel with the one arm, take this knob out and down at the bottom, and I just kind of leave it sit for a minute. Do the same thing over here, support this part of the panel, get this knob out, and then I set it down on those bars, and I support the panel, take this on out, Set it down, and then I take this side off, again I'm supporting the panel, and just always bear in mind these T-knobs have a, a washer on them, so you want to kind of keep them with the bolt side up, the side side up, and you set them down or lay them on their side. If you turn them like this, there's a decent chance that a washer is going to fall off and disappear in the gravel or grass or something down below. So then I lower this back down. Since we chose the middle hole, I'm going to put it in. And I'm going to bring this tight while I'm over here. Bring that tight. Take a knob. Line this hole back up. Put them back in. Bring that one up tight. Bring this one up tight. And I take these tilt bars and I put them flat side together with this embedded nut out that way and this one out that way. Then I take this knob, I screw these two bars together. And then you go stow them down below somewhere. We have some customers who just buy two more feet and stick them to the roof and then they just mount this right to the feet right up on the roof so they're there when you need them. Uh, I prefer to keep them down below and haul them up and down with me, but as they say, there's more than one way to skin a cat.